Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, if you don't know who we are, uh, we're the Earharts. Uh, we're track and field athletes training down in here in California uh, just for another couple weeks. Um, so yeah, you haven't seen us for a while. Um, so this video is going to be going over the competition that I had two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen most of this footage or some of it. And just at the start of this video, I just want to thank our sponsor, Canadian Tire Hyde Park. Uh, they're located in London, Ontario. So if you guys are there, um, head into Canadian Tire Hyde Park. Great store, great staff. Uh, they'll have everything you need. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. So yeah, the plan was to do the full decathlon, but my hamstring was a little bit tender. Um, and it felt like kind of crampy. Um, so on day one, I just said we're gonna start like one event at a time. If something feels bad, then we can call it and just do individual events. That's kind of what happened. Um, so yeah, day one was uh, warming up really well, perfect day out. Um, it was supposed to get a little bit windy later on in the day, um, but it was pretty calm in the morning. Um, so my starts were feeling good, I was feeling quite poppy. Um, again, I was just a little bit hesitant about my hamstring and I hadn't actually run too, too much beforehand or like really, really hard running. Um, so just kind of feeling out the blocks and everything. Okay, so event number one's up. Um, so I actually ran 1095 in the 100. Uh, my personal best is 10.85. I was anticipating something a little bit faster, but because of my hamstring, I just felt like I couldn't really push super, super hard. Um, so it makes sense that I ran 10.95. Um, I know that I have more in the tank, uh, but it's just what it was, what I had at that moment. Um, so just kind of try to forget about it, move on to long jump. Um, I've been jumping like seven meters off 12-ish strides. So, I was uh, super excited to actually see what I could jump from full. Um, when I actually started to do my approach runs, I still felt like I couldn't like really push. So my first jump, I was just kind of feeling out the board, um, just kind of going through the motions really um, is the best way I could describe it. Um, so I jumped 720 on the first one, nothing spectacular, my best ever with me being a decathlete is uh, 7.55. Um, so I passed my second jump um, just again because my hamstring was just like really uneasy. Um, and at this point I told myself that I wasn't actually doing the full decathlon. Um, so went for my last jump just because I wanted to see if I could do a little bit better. Faulted by a bit. Um, I think it was a better jump though. It is what it is, moving on. Um, I just wanted to work on a couple things throughout the rest of the day. Um, so shot put's been feeling pretty good. Been feeling like I've been able to get really good pushes through the ball. Um, so even in my warm ups, I knew it was gonna be a good day because I could feel um, me using my legs and me like really pushing. The first one I opened up with I can't really remember my marks other than the ones that I finished with. So I think it was like 15 and a half. So a good solid opener. So I just told myself to like go after it um, in the next one. Um, in the next one, I just like had a good glide, felt like I was in good position. Um, and then through 1601, which is a personal best outdoors. Um, I haven't thrown over 16 indoors or outdoors, obviously in like a really long time so felt good to be back in 16s um just felt like a good push and then my last throw was uh 1598 i believe moving on to high jump um so the wind started to pick up at this point um so my actual approach was feeling good but then once it got windy it got a little bit like hit and miss like i've never been and like so inconsistent. Um, so came in at 189, got that on either my first or second attempt. And then I passed um, 192 and then got 199 on my first attempt, I believe. 
and then the wind really started to pick up. So it was 198 at this point, and then on my second attempt, just again, I was super off. And then I think even on my third attempt, it was like the exact same thing. So it just like really wasn't a good high jump for me. And then at that point, I just said, there's no need to run the 400 because if my hamstring's already feeling crampy, why would you like fill it with lactic and try to push through it? So it just seemed like an unsafe decision. Um, so just called it, went home, regrouped, um, got up the next morning, um, and then the legs were feeling a little bit sore. Um, I think because of high jump, because the mark was so inconsistent, my knees were more sore than they have been in the past. So in hurdles, um, I haven't been this sore while hurdling in a while, um, from obviously not competing in so long. Um, so it was kind of like a wake up call of like, oh, this is what day two feels like. So yeah, I ran 14.69. Um, my personal best in hurdles is 14.28. Um, so for how bad the race felt, I guess that's a good time. Um, but again, I was looking for, even to get like 14.3 would have been a little bit better. I would have like been happy with that. But um, again, just wasn't in the cards for that day, so wasn't in the cards. Um, discus hasn't been feeling the greatest. Um, I couldn't tell you what it is. Uh, I just feel like I can't pull it very well right now. Or I kind of figured it out in the past couple of weeks. So I opened up the competition with uh, 3980. Um, my personal best in discus is 47 and change um, so obviously tell I wouldn't have been happy um, so my second one um, again I just kind of like couldn't pull it very well and I knew it was shorter than the 38 so I just walked out the front and then the last one was 40 40 um, over 40 but again this is not really close to where I want to be throwing and then I wasn't sure if I wanted to pull vault or not. Um, I was pretty set on not pull vaulting. And then we kind of decided with the coaches, like, well, we might as well. Like, we're here, use it as a practice, at least do the warm up, see how that feels. And then um, I was like, okay, well, I'll do that. And then I was like, okay, well, if I'm going to do the warm up, then I'm going to vault. So, got my mark on. Um, it's was pretty hectic if you watch the vlog a couple vlogs ago trying to figure out what my mark actually was so once I got that it was pretty consistent um, and then I had to sit and wait for quite a long time I think we started at 3 something 340 350 um, so my opening height was gonna be 480 which I was pretty confident with um, so I sat for about an hour um, and then so I was just trying to stay loose as loose as I could um, I just didn't want the hamstring to tighten up and then like something happened um, so the first jump uh, I just was sitting for so long that I actually didn't even get off the ground um, or I got off the ground but I didn't even swing so once I kind of felt the pull I was like okay yeah I can vault this easily no problem um so then after that make i passed the next height because i knew i didn't have many jumps in me um just from how my body felt so i passed the next height and then went to 505 which would be a pb um and then on my first attempt um just kind of had a good takeoff just didn't swing as aggressively as i should have um just kind of clipped it with my uh hip and then on my second attempt, my mark was just a wee bit off. I don't know if I ran a little bit different at the start or at the end, it was just off. And then on my third one, I ran a little bit harder and then I think that's why I blew through the pole and just kind of kicked it. So 480 or 485, I can't remember what it actually was. 
um, is not a bad vault for an opening height. Um, obviously, if I was in an actual competition, I would have vaulted 495 and then 505 and then hopefully more and more. Sorry it took so long to put this video out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So if you guys have uh, not subscribed, do that now. And yeah, super excited for the meet coming up um, and putting work in hard, putting hard work in. I can't really think, can you tell that this is after practice and my brain's not working today? So yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.